Financial planning for the mining industry is what we're talking about today, the East Central Business Show. I'm John Naylor, joined by our resident expert, financial planner, Helen Baker. Good afternoon. Hello. Yeah, now you're going to do some sort of disclaimer type thing right now, aren't you? Yeah, I think we're throwing it on at the end as well, but yep, general disclaimer, so this is not advice, seek advice. Yeah. Sure. Okay, fabulous. All right, let's get on with it then. So now this afternoon we're going to go through, and we're going to make a five-part series here we're going to try and do by the looks of it. And um, and it's about general financial planning for the mining industry. So what are the sorts of things we're going to talk about in this series? So the main thing to talk about probably around financial planning for mining is it's probably a little different to most other sectors. So it mm. can be quite volatile. Mm. So you might have a really big income and then it might be a period where you, there's no income and... We're going to look at some of the investment mistakes some people make, things about how they can protect themselves, how to not get in over your head, those kind of aspects. Okay, all right. And what superannuation, we're going to talk about that at all? Yep, we'll talk about that because that'll look at some of the tax benefits and making your money work really hard for you. Yeah, and there's also that element of like income protection and that sort of thing as well, isn't there? Cause right. I mean, uh, uh, anecdotally, and as a guy who's lived in North Queensland on the fringe, not participating in the mining industry, the things I've seen, the V8 utes I've seen in the driveway, the properties, the, jet skis. the people have now left and gone to the UK to escape debt. Right. You know, there's still stuff in, ends up in my post box for that guy. <laughs> So, so anyway, um, but that's look, it's all a fairly, it, there are some special challenges around the mining industry, yeah? Yeah, there's lots of good things too. So we have a range of clients who actually are from the mining industry, so single people and couples, and you'll have couples who are both actually in the mining sector as well. So they're both in that sector that are vulnerable to some of these things that can change. Mm. So whereas there are other people who have couples where one's in the mining sector, one's in a completely different sector, which gives you a little bit nice balance ah, and trade-offs okay. yes, so, yes. and then obviously always lots of single people who are you know having to protect themselves and what they build for themselves without any kind of support other than what they do for themselves so everybody's different okay cool because yeah, what we see of course around the mining industry these days is a lot of uh, females in the industry mm. uh, and not just to say they're like got cleaning hospo type jobs out of the mines they're actually driving trucks and engineers and stuff like that there's yeah. some high-tech people on 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 big incomes from both genders across the industry, yeah? Absolutely, so massive rise in female engineering. Mm. When I was at school, I can't imagine any female engineers at all at that period of time. So the industry has done a lot to tra attract the, the people out of high school and so on to go on and do engineering courses. But mm. you've got engineering, HR teams, you've got um, the lawyers, the accountants, the admin, you've got Oh, marketing, communications, yes. so there's a massive range of industries and actually just actually working in the mines themselves, so yeah. massive. Okay, great. Well, anyway, well, let's segue into the next episode then. But first of all, I mean, if someone does want to make contact with you and talk about their financial planning, what's the best way for them to do that, Helen? Yeah, probably just on the website, on your own two feet.com.au and you'll be able to touch base with us then. All right, fantastic. Let's get on with the show. We'll see you on the next episode of the eCentral Business Show. So just a general chat with Helen Baker, our resident expert financial planner on the eCentral Business Show. Helen, now, uh, where's this passion come from about financial planning? We've just shot your first series. You've talked about you like it. Yeah. Where's that come from? I didn't know to start with. So my background was originally uh, more as a fixer. So I used to go into businesses and fix things and make things happen. So mm. I think the combination of the finance background, the project management, the fixer, and uh, dealing with people, one, two, three, and here I am. Okay, fabulous. Now we're gonna put a disclaimer up on, around us at the moment. So it's probably down here somewhere. -ish. But you know, it's really important that people understand that whatever we do in these episodes is not specific advice, yeah? No, so specific advice must be tailored to their personal circumstances. Mm. So we'll just be talking generally mm. about bits and things and if that interests them and sparks them, they can seek specific advice from there. Okay, so now how do people get their Helen Baker though? So there's a book and there's a website to make contact, yeah? Yeah, so there's the website, there is the book that you can buy, I'm on LinkedIn, um, you find me wandering around Brisbane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leave me alone if I'm at the groceries, <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, on your own two feet, .com .au, mm. is uh, the hub of where you'll find everything you need to know and really. It's the book title as well, isn't it? It is. 
What does that mean? It's all consistent. Okay, fabulous. All right, so that's a, a couple of great ways to get your Helen Baker, the resident expert financial planner on the East Central Business Show.